I test drove the new Model 3 recently, and I have to say, I absolutely loved it, it's an amazing car, but it left me with this really strange feeling that my car, this original four and a half year old Tesla Model 3 standard range plus, um, it just feels a bit quicker when you put your foot down, it feels punchier, and I didn't quite get that same feeling from the new Model 3. So today, I'm gonna to give this one a little test. I'm gonna see exactly how quickly this can go zero to 60. I've got a new speedometer testing thing on my phone, so I'm gonna give that a go and see how we get on. So after all that, I think I'm wrong. The quickest time I just got was 5.99 seconds, zero to 60. Batteries are warm, it's 11 degrees outside today. I thought it was gonna be quicker, I've gotta be honest. I thought I had some sort of secret experiment gone wrong with this car. And the new Model 3 has a claimed zero to 60 of 5.8 seconds. So technically it was quicker, and it was all in my weird head and I imagined it. I don't know. There's something very different to me about the feel of, of driving that car. Although maybe it's a simple fact of the Model 3 is, is now so more refined. The, the, the upgraded suspension and the dampeners and the, the interior volume is, is far quieter thanks to more sound absorption everywhere you go, everywhere you look even. Um, it might have something to do with that. Perhaps it just doesn't feel as quick because it's so much more refined. It could be that, couldn't it? I guess the only reasonable thing I should do now is go and test drive a Model 3 again and use my new little app to see just how quickly that travels 0 to 60. It's a good idea, isn't it? Get to test drive it again. It's just so good. I mean, the reviews on it are just spectacular. If you've seen Sandy Monroe recently, he's just absolutely gushing about it. He's very happy with the new Model 3. He just thinks it's um, the best sedan uh, available is I think were his words. I've got to completely agree. I think it's such a phenomenal car. I can't get it out of my head. I can't believe how much better it is than this car. And obviously, I'm still getting over the shock of how amazing this car is after four and a half years of ownership. And I've never had a car that's done that to me before. I cannot wait to drive this car every time I've got to go somewhere. I love it to bits. And it is the childlike acceleration, I guess, and you know the silence of it. It's just such good fun. Here we are doing 30 miles an hour, of course, there are 30, coming into a national speed limit, and boom! 60, there we go. <laughs> I love it. As my mum reminds me, as soon as I was born, I just wanted to go as fast as I could, wherever I went. So I don't drive like that now, obviously. Now I'm all mature as a 40 year old, but I just like acceleration. There's just something about it. It's fun, isn't it? I don't know. I'll be honest, I've been hovering over that buy button for some time now. I just, you know, we don't need a new car. There's nothing wrong with this car. I keep telling myself, oh, it's so silly. We don't need a new car. There's nothing wrong with this car whatsoever. Just those pretty lights, though. They're drawing me like a moth to a flame. Well, because I'm as simple as a moth. I like shiny things. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's shed some light onto the actual zero to 60 time. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw, thanks so much for watching, bye for now.